Hello everyone and welcome back to my second channel, welcome back to Jack in the Books. Today I wanted to do just a quick little video to let you know which books I brought with me to Paris for this month. As a lot of you know, I'm kind of a part-time Parisian, I've been back and forth a lot, but I am mostly using Paris as my base this year. And whenever I go back to the UK, I take with me a suitcase and I fill it with books and basically replace my stash of books that I have here. So these are the books ugh, that I currently have with me. That was a lot heavier than I expected. Is this ambitious for one month of reading? Yes, incredibly, but you can never have too many books, I feel. So. Um, you don't want to run out, you know? Anyway, I want to show you what books I am hoping to read in the next month, and let's go through them. So, first book is this one, it's called Brown Girls. It's described as an ode to girlhood, and this book is a gift. In fact, Raven Lalani, who wrote Luster, um, is quoted on the cover, and I love her, and I'm intrigued to see about that book. I have just realised I have some cookie in my fingernail. That's disgusting. Okay, the next set of books are uh, these ones, which you might have heard of. Um, they're called Heartstopper, a series of graphic novels by Alice Oseman, who I adore. I brought these with me because I'm planning to do a video on them. I was going to do a second channel video. I'm now doing a first main channel video because I had some pretty cool news, um, and I've been invited to do a pretty cool thing. So that's all I'm going to say, <laughs> but it involves this book series, and I can't freaking wait. And it's next week. Oh my god. All I'm saying is watch this space. Watch this freaking space. My life is not real. Moving on before I leak everything by accident. Um, do you know what? The problem is with this channel is that I feel like this is like the close friend story of my main channel. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like I can just tell you guys anything. And actually some things are like, <laughs> I actually am not allowed to say. Um, Moving on, this is a book called Good Intentions. I'm going to be doing a whole second channel reading vlog of this book because I haven't done a reading vlog in ages. And, okay, we're back to the close friends thing. Basically, I have been making a lot of decisions recently about how I want my channels to go forward. And I think that for my own mental health and the longevity of my presence on YouTube, it's time to stop vlogging again. And so I'm not going to be sharing much about my life and, you know, the life updates, the Q&As and stuff. I'm probably not going to be doing those anymore, but I do love vlogging. I love sharing little snippets of my day. I love creating that kind of thing. And so I think that reading vlogs are the way forward so that the focus is on the book and not my life, <laughs> you know? So anyway, I think that um, I'm going to kickstart that series again with good intentions because I've heard this is kind of like the male Sally Rooney, and as you know, I'm a Sally Rooney super fan. So, looking forward to that book. The next book is this one, the most exquisite cover ever. And am I reading this based solely on the cover? Yes. Cleopatra and Frankenstein is a book I'm really excited to read. I've said this before, but this cover just gives me Lord Melodrama vibes. And for that reason alone, I can't wait to read it because that album, the best of all time. Next book is this one. I actually just finished this. This was Man Down by James Goodhand because I was making some TikTok content around this book. If you don't follow me on TikTok, you should. I'm actually trying to take it a little bit more seriously now. I've been trying to... So I did a temporary kind of challenge thing where I uploaded every day for 10 days to kind of see um, if I could do that and what the response would be. And it was so overwhelmingly positive. In fact, <laughs> one video I did where I was just shitting on the Spanish love deception got 3 million views. 3 million views. That's absurd. Um, so maybe I'll be doing a bit more of that. <laughs> maybe I'll be, maybe you'll be seeing me on book talk a little bit more. Oh, this book. On Sun Swallowing by Dakota Warren, who I had the absolute pleasure and privilege of meeting earlier this week. And her energy is just infectious. I think she's brilliant. Um, I can't wait to spend more time with her. Um, and she very kindly brought me a copy of her poetry book, which I have just been indulging in and enjoying and soaking up and five stars. Honestly, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. And um, I'm really proud of her too. She's great. And it's cool to see um, booktubers winning. So thank you so much Dakota for that. That was very kind. Oh, and also, oh my God, I have to show you this. Look, I'm keeping that forever. Um, I also love collecting um, pictures of my friends signing their book. Nothing makes me feel more proud than that. So that I'm going to keep forever and ever and ever. Next, da -da -da -da, The Island of Missing Trees. I devoured this book and loved every minute. It is such a brilliant read. I finished it. Um, I gave it 4.75 stars. 
It was almost the five. It was so close, but definitely one of the best books I've read this year. And I actually do think that the more I read and the more confident I get with reviewing, um, the more reluctant I am to give a five star review in the sense that I have my list of five star reviews. And in order to make it into that list now, it's got to be something pretty special. So um, I definitely think that I'm a harsher critic, <laughs> maybe than I used to be. Um, but yeah, 4.75. It was and I'd highly recommend it. I think it's a really strong contender for winning this year's Women's Prize. Um, but I'm trying to work my way through the list, so we'll see. This book is the next book that I've brought with me. I bought this in Edinburgh, and I'm hoping to do a video on translated literature, and this will be making an appearance in that. Next up, we have this book, The Razor's Edge, for a video that I'm going to be doing on Emma Chamberlain's book recommendations. I worship the ground that Emma Chamberlain walks on. I think she's brilliant and such a pioneer for the YouTube scene. Most YouTubers I know really, really look up to her. I think she's the blueprint. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe I'm a fanboy, maybe I am. And so of course, I'm gonna be reading her book recommendations, um, starting with this one. And I also, I actually did a main channel poll where I asked you guys what videos you wanted to see next, which videos you wanted to see first. And um, a lot of you said about the Emma Chamberlain video, but also the most popular one on that list was banned books, books that have been banned. Um, so that's now going to be my priority. Um, so I'll get around to the Emma Chamberlain one eventually. Back onto the translated fiction. This is A Man Called Ove. I think, ooh, someone commented saying it's called, it's not pronounced like that, but I can't remember how it is pronounced. I'm going to say it's A Man Called Ove. I think that's how you're meant to pronounce that, but I will obviously 100% double check before I make a video on it or any more content on it. Um, I'm going to double check that as soon as this is done. Next, we have this book by the Queen herself, Joan Didion. I might try and read this today, you know. It's a sunny day. I do have work to do. But I could go and sit in a park and read this. Decisions. <laughs> Decisions. This is Let Me Tell You What I Mean by Joan Didion. She writes so brilliantly, and I think this is a collection of a bunch of her writing um, over the course of her career, so really looking forward to sinking my teeth into that. Next we have None of This Is Real. The author of this book sent me a very nice letter um, alongside this book when she sent it to me, and I've just realised I am matching it. <laughs> I've, I've dressed up as this book today for Halloween, and I was quite excited to read this, and then a few people commented saying they didn't enjoy it. So that's not ideal, but I'm gonna give it a go anyway and get, have my own impression and give my own review. Um, I'm trying not to let that um, influence me, I guess, because um, I was really excited to read this. So um, anyway, I'll get around to this at some point um, and I'll let you know. Okay, two more books. This one is Fake Accounts. Again, I was really excited by this book and I've only seen negative reviews since saying that. So hmm. a lot of people commented on my video where I opened this saying, don't bother with it, like it's not good, blah, 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 blah. So um, not ideal. It's probably gone to a low priority in terms of this massive list which are about to fall off the sofa <laughs> but I've just saved them. Anyway, so yeah, I'm trying not to be influenced too much by other people's reviews but obviously it makes you not want to necessarily prioritise a book. So there you go. And then finally the book that I am currently reading is the book The Devil Needs and this is um, a book about Trinidad and it's written in um, like local dialect and it's really interesting it's taking me a little bit longer to get through just because I'm um, reading a style of writing I'm not used to. But that's not a bad thing. In fact, it's a good thing. I'm really enjoying reading this really distinctive and unique voice. And I'm falling a bit in love with this character. So another Women's Prize uh, nominee, which I am enjoying quite a lot. So maybe I should read that in the park today. Maybe I think I'm going to go to the park today. <laughs> if there's one thing that Paris does well, it's very lovely gardens. Um, and they're like the best place to just pull up a chair, sit by a fountain, and just read, and enjoy yourself, and relax. So, I think I'm gonna do some work, and then I'm gonna go to a garden and read some good literature. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye